Marcy, in the call, a woman identified as Jessica Tetro Khalifa dials 911 dispatchers to ask for police assistance at her home. An obvious argument between her and her husband plays out in the background of the call in which she's heard panicking and screaming. Yes, I need police department at my home right now. My husband just attacked me. I need you to come down. I'm not sure I heard. Action 4 News has obtained a 911 call. Brownsville City Commissioner Jessica Tetro made the night she says her husband attacked her while at her Greenfield Drive home. His name is Arturo Califa. He came at me with a glass and he was going to smash it in my face. And I put my hand up. During this frantic call, Tetro claims her husband Arturo Ochoa Califa is out of control and is fearing for her safety. He hit me with his hands. He was like slapping and hitting my face. He's slapping and hitting your face? Yes, so just get away from me or get away from me. He's horrible. He's horrible. But despite her call for police for help, when police arrive, her husband is not arrested. Instead, Tetro is the one taken into custody and charged with assault. The reason, a Brownsville police report states she was the one who assaulted Khalifa and then faked her own injuries. Are you sure you're not bleeding or anything, ma'am, or not? I'm not bleeding, but I think she is because I put my hand up and my wedding ring scratched him. Tetro maintains her innocence and says the situation just spun out of control. She's not publicly speaking about the incident based on the advice of her attorney. Petro claims Brownsville police did not handle the case properly, claiming she was the victim in this. Brownsville Police Chief Carlos Garcia tells Action 4 News that the case has been forwarded to the Cameron County District Attorney's Office for review. Chief Garcia adds Petro was told to file a formal complaint with his agency and they would conduct an internal investigation. In the newsroom, Ashton Martinez, Action 4 News.